Hey guys, um, hey guys, um, Shark back playing and doing the one and only. Just honestly, if played in the right hands, best assassin of the whole season. Best assassin, no matter how many nerfs she gets. We're playing Kiana mid with the new and improved treasure hunter rune. So, like usual, guys. It's, it's way more snowball oriented and I'll be showing you how you can solo carry every single one of your games So like usual guys if you enjoy find it helpful make sure to smash the like comment subscribe Those are the runes we took electrocute sun impact eyeball collection treasurer hunter presence of mind last stand Those are the runes that's there and in this lane We're playing against LeBlanc pretty medium difficulty matchup. There's Ramish jungle, which is annoying though Typically in this lane, I mean pre level three we just chill back we chill back try to farm it out and try to collapse on her post level three but yeah i mean this lane it's uh really just skill matchup it's on who can outplay who how much of her st stuff i can dodge mainly being her e skill shots and uh Yeah, let's get shoved in. We're just chilling. If we were playing against the melee, obviously you start W since you would uh, actually pressure the minions. And maybe even pressure autoing them, but against these ranged lanes, you just gotta chill. W here. Want grass. It's very versatile. Stops her from playing aggressive onto us. And it's just all around really nice. We're about to hit level three. EQ WQ combo. Got a flash just to make sure. And just like that, we get the treasure hunter. And live. That's what I'm talking about. On level 3, wave bouncing back. That's when you just play aggressive and you go off. Going to use everything on the wave to crash it. And... Wow. <laughs> it's actually funny. Well played. It's I mean, it's Scion, so he could just int to win like he usually does. But Wow. Gonna get that charaded Dirk. And I mean, Prowler's Claw is just, it's the best item. For Mythics, for Kiana. Ramus took Scuttle and his full clearing, okay. My recording. I am. Nice. Wave is coming out to us, nice. Typically... Yeah, we can really pick up the aggression here. Damn, she got us good. Got us good with that. Gonna hit level 5 here. Damn it. I actually would have wanted to. I would have wanted to! Ah! ah! I should have known. I would have won that so easily. Just needed a WQ. Uh, it's actually so painful. I knew he was top side. I thought he reset and was at bot side now. But he hasn't recalled yet. He just full cleared. Wow. That's a pain. Oh, and I, I was also getting shoved in so I couldn't place a ward by then. At least LeBlanc can't crash the wave yet, so that's good. It was a given. I was going to play aggressive at that moment. <clears throat> she can't step up. We can hold the wave here temporarily. And then just try to deny her minions. 
Uh huh, uh huh. Get a word right there. Since I know Ramus will be bot side. Ignites up in 22, so that's solid. It'll be a temporary. Yeah, really temporary freeze. It's going to slow push back to her probably after this wave. Frick. That's bad. I wanted to try to all in her while I still could. While I had a level lead. Yup, it's because we had the level lead and the wave pushing, we were able to get her there. And uh, we dodged her E along top of that. That's the pro of having the wave pushing. And we also had our minions helping us in the process. But yeah, that Ramus ganking will be an issue. That ult I threw was a malfunction. Basically, whenever you use your ult, you always want to use your E or Prowler's Claw beforehand. That'll put you in 9 times out of 10, yes, a position where uh, your R's... I need to go to sleep. Your R is easy to land. It's not LeBlanc's level 6. That is okay. I love how our W with grass can be used both offensively and defensively. I'm gonna clip her there. Now slow push the wave. Try to look for the dive. Oh man. Oh, Ramus is here. Oh, I need to look for the dive. That's the thing. Should be enough. Outplayed with the grass. Cue him there for the stun. All right, perfect. And just like that, they get outplayed 1v2. Well, actually, it was 2v2 in the end, but yeah, it was 1v2. That's why you play Kiana. The, the stealth you get from... The stealth you get from your, your Shroud W is just insane. It's too good. You can outplay your opponents left and right like that. And they get shit on. Champ is nuts if executed well. Now we, we got Prowler's Claw. That's a massive power spike for us. Uh... Or, I don't know. I feel like or this is going to be our last potion we get. But potions probably want us the lane. Underrated, but look. If you don't get three potions at the start against like Kiana or what's it called? LeBlanc, Fizz. All these heavy aggression early game champions. You'll just get chipped out of lane and give them pressure within the lane. If you get three potions, you most likely out-sustain their damage and have a lot of kill pressure early on. So it's like a trade-off. LeBlanc did roam, though, so that sucks. That is my bad. Bot lane is uh, not doing well. That's okay. Hopefully, I have the damage just to pop him. But we have to note... Got a deep ward right there. I have R and 6, so... This should be very much so doable. Unless Ramus looks for the counter gank, he might be, but... Ah, it's still doable. Damn it. Yeah. That's just doomed. I should have just focused the Soraka. Bot lane's too far behind. I need to just play towards jungle. I need to just play towards jungle. Bot lane, they still have all their summoner spells and all their abilities. After all that fighting. 
So that's my bad. If they didn't have R, it would have been a guaranteed kill. Gonna hover top side, but yeah, we just want to look for the base. Get our lucidity boots. I need to leave base here without full HP. We'll get it eventually, but it's mainly for the reason that we want to get the majority of the minions. And since we have tier 2 boots, we have enough movement speed to catch him. The XP means a lot. Good. And this is where, I mean, we just want to prioritize shove and roaming, if possible. that's where we get the most value shove in roaming we see viego bot tower placing rift if the blast cone is here that'd be wonderful but it's not we just want to path around here and make it towards the action Like that. Got him. LeBlanc. I have Shroud. That's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Oh. Oh. I mean, I guess we did. Oh, uh, he plays Rift. Did I burn anything else? Nah. It's just our bot lane holds no weight. That's the issue. Like, if we're gonna make plays there, it just... <sighs> just... We can't do it right now. Like, that just happens, you know, bot lane gets behind. But, like, we just got to be playing for other plays than bot lane. I'm not I'm right. It's too soon. We need to get a bigger lead before we can play for the Soraka and Varus. It was too soon. Now I feel like we can, especially if we four-man dive. But, yeah, before that, it's a little bit rough. Viego's bot lane. Going to take the ice elemental. See if I could path my way bot. Like usual. Damn, that healing. Should be good for me, though. Yep. Should be good for me. Shove and roam oriented champion. That's what we're playing. And honestly, it was probably incorrect macro from the start. Bot lane should have went mid. I should have went bot. But, I mean, it works out in the end, so... It just is what it is. LeBlanc roam topside. Red buff is up. I think. Unless Ramus already took it. Nope. Good thing Kiana's half jungler. Using a different elemental every time so that way it does maximum damage. And now we look for the reset yet again. Gonna get a vision ward. I, I I don't know. Soraka's healing is not bad. I mean, it's probably manageable. It's just if she e's me when I'm trying to e or Prowler's claw, that's where it gets bad, and that's where she outplays me. So I just I have to make that make sure that doesn't happen. Whether that's me waiting for her to use her e. We can probably look for it. Oh, that was bad. No, I can't. It's going to be 1v2.
That's good. They're separated. They're separated. They're separated. Look there. What are we doing, team? What are we doing? I'm confused. What are we doing? Hmm. And then there's the Soraka for the healing. I mean, uh, we used Ignite, which is kind of sucky, but it is on a 140 something second cooldown. Soraka. We got Mordekaiser winning split push. So we could just play for. I mean, it is a possibility. We could just play for the win con of split push and just never group. That is the thing we can do. If the situation calls for it, we get the LeBlanc low. She's missing mid, but she's on like half HP. We prefer to use W. It's for shutdown. It's because oh, took the risk of the blasting cone. If there was no blasting cone there, I was probably dead. But yeah, we made the one for... It wasn't even a one for one, but... I really risked it for the LeBlanc. It's E... No, it wasn't ER. It was Prowler's Claw R. To guarantee that I land the stun. But even then, it was just a one shot since it was against the wall. This game probably Edge of Knights the move for their CC. It'll make me more uncounterable. Ramus will be a problem and the Scion, but we can wait for later to get Sherid to gouge. Nice. Well played. Sadly, I couldn't make it to that fight. Yeah. Sorry, team. I wanted to push out bot wave and then we'll play for drag. Good thing they all died before dragon spawned. It's actually a good thing. They're going to hex portal here, probably. If I had a guess. But at least they have no vision, so I might be able to get a pick. If it's anyone but the... Ramus or Scion. Eat someone squishy. Come on, Soraka. You want a ward dragon, don't you? Come on, Varus. Damn it. I don't think that was warded, though. What? She just predicted. Well played. She knew. She just had a feeling. And she was right about that feeling. It wasn't warded, but... Ah, we pushed them off it. In the end, I mean, that's all that matters. We pushed them off the objective, so that way they can't contest. It's secured. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> Boom, boom. Get some more lethality there. As for team comp, we can group? No. It's just too... It's too coin flippy if we group. We can group if I execute a really good ulti. And I get like a two-man stun. Preferably the Varus... 
Damn it. This bastard. I don't care if he takes Dominion. I got the shot down. It just has to be a really well played fight. But because Misfortune and uh, Zyra are so far behind, our DPS is really lacking. So if we don't burst them immediately, it's just going to be rough. I didn't... Uh, the Prowlers got cancelled because of the bush. Could have been a, bu uh, a Prowler's Claw into Ultimate there. And he could have been dead. Damn, I just popped them. But that's what I'm talking about. Team fighting is just hard. I popped them, but we just died. Team fighting's hard because we have no DPS from our backline. I knew this before the fight even started. We can't group. Mordekaiser's doing the right thing. Pain, pain, pain. We just have to look for picks. Picks and split pushing, that's how we're going to win. Misfortune Zyra got rolled. Good. Maybe the fight would have been different if Mordekaiser was there, but I don't know. Grouping's just not ideal. Oh. Got him. Sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. Probably just going to look to split top. For the time being. Sion just wants to split push. But, yeah, we shouldn't be committing that far up. We want to be getting as much gold on the map as possible. We can't force a tire dive. Mid lane. Nah, I don't. I don't have Ghost Blade or Prowlers. It's too rough. It's too risky. Now we build towards Shred the Gouge. Okay, level 12, Forest, Soraka. That's doable. I have to focus the Soraka at all costs. Otherwise, she'll just out heal my damage. Gonna take the ice and come from the side. Kiana's just the best when it comes to flanks. And coming from side angles of team fights to land her ultimate. Alright, we see virus. Woo! That's what we call a Kiana moment. Give me Quadra! Boris, you're s just. That was just so satisfying. That's why we play Kiana mid. It's because she has that carry potential. Especially for these objective fights. There's going to be a wall nearby. Get that juicy. Either Prowler's Claw ulti, Flash ulti, E ulti. We're going to take this and then run. That's going to be Hextech Soul. Huge. And how you be consistent at that is... Well, I mean, obviously it was an objective fight that we wanted to play for. So everyone was going to try to be there. But it's 
sweeping, making sure they have no wards, and coming from a flank. That side angle is going to allow you to have that angle to push them against that wall. Do that. I'll take Gromp since that's just to maximize the amount of gold we get on we get on the map. And I'm gonna try to see what's good with their red buff. Oh man, they're fighting mid without me. Gonna use Ghost Blade, see if I can see what's good with these people. Just like that. Come from the side angle, like I mentioned before. And then look to delete him. Sweep, come from a flank, and delete. That's the goal. Might even... I don't know. I don't think we can go Baron because our bot lane has no shred. They're too behind. Still. If I just stayed mid, we probably wouldn't have been able to siege. Ah, uh, this is what it is. It would just oh, well, maybe actually. I didn't know that tower was that low. I didn't check. No, Sion's just—he's too tanky. It would have been rough. Might have been able to defend there. Let's see if I can look for another pick. Hmm. Spooky, spooky. I have sure to gouge, so even Ramus has to worry about me. I think they know. They don't know I'm here, but they have a feeling. Hey, yeah, see what I'm saying? They have a feeling. That's actually kind of nuts. Ugh. I outplayed his ultimate with, I believe, my prowlers there. And I predicted it all along. But sadly, LeBlanc was there and then got the shut down on me. But just like that, I think that should be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Last item, I'd probably go, uh, maybe just like a GA would be fine. That's going to be how to 1v9 with just this beast of a Kiana pick in season 12. I'm out.